Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be answering the question of is Bitcoin getting ready right now for a very large push to the upside? Can we be reaching 26 plus thousand dollars? Of course, we get through this, we'll be looking at 27 to 30 thousand dollars, major moves to the upside. I'll be answering that question of is Bitcoin getting ready for this strength to come? I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and of course I hope that you are doing very well. And I'll start off, <laughs> here we are on a Sunday. So I will say this, it's not often I do a video on a Sunday, but I'm gonna come into this one like calm, collected, and as, I, as always, keeping this professional, accurate, <laughs> And before someone comments down below, you mispronounce that word. I absolutely do. Um, but the most accurate and, of course, the most profitable. That's what you're here for, the profits. And that's what we that's what we give at, at CC Pool Chart Champions, right? The, the levels that we're giving right now are very much on point and profitable. So, um, yeah, I acknowledge why you're here. I say thank you for joining me today. And I very much hope I meet my goal of making it worth your while tuning in here. So... Uh, I'm going to get into what I love, and of course, that is the technical analysis and the trade. So, um, yeah, of course, mentioned, are we getting ready for this large move upwards here? You know, finding some strength, consolidation under resistance before, you know, a big pump to come. I will remind you, of course, I do hold a short position from, uh, he said $52,000. It's in my head right now, $52,000, but <laughs> I did short 52K, right? But um, $25,200, I'd still hold that short position, by the way. And the last short that I talked you through at $52,000, of course, the one from $25,000 was one that I was planned and patient for. And as soon as we hit that $25,200 target, we ended in a swing failure pattern, and it was a very, I want to also say, kind of easy short trade. If you understand swing failure patterns, if you've ever been a member of Chart Champion, uh, then for me, this was, um, you know, one that we are, let's just say, on our, on our list of often taken trades. It was fairly simple when you know what you're doing. Swing failure pattern off the high, come back down below. We got the swing failure pattern, and it was a, a short setup that was, you know, we also talked you through on the daily update, right? But it was a short setup after that SFB. From there, we obviously saw the 8% drop to the downside. Again, when you're, well, even if you're trading with a small amount of money, but of course, I'm trading with multi-millions, and, you know, 8% drop to the downside, you can imagine the profits that you can make off of that. Lovely 8% drop to the downside. Uh, we put in this sideways range where there was no trade. We saw a subsequent move to the upside. Of course, after these drops, you've got to be locking in take profit. We saw a subsequent move to the upside to retest $25,000, which for me at the time, as we were making our way up during this section, you know, wanting to see higher, we hit $25,000. And once again, live in the time, I gave a signal Called, you could so to speak call it here with an entry at around $25,000. As soon as I saw it, I updated my team. This is a, another short trade that I've taken. From there, we obviously saw a 4% drop to the downside. So this was the entry that I was posting right up at the high at the time. And we then saw a over 4% drop to the downside, where of course that one has hit a nice take profit. So still in that short from 25, 200 and still in that short from 25, what you have to remember is this short has hit a major take profit. So this is guaranteed, what we mean by this is it's guaranteed profit, whatever happens next. If we do continue down, well, the rest of that trade runs. And if it does pump up from here, then that trade would still be classed as a profitable trade. Although we could say it wasn't correct per se, we were looking for lower. But because we lock in a take profit one after a 4% move to the downside, then what happens next is if we move up from here and pump, the trade has still made money, okay? It's still been a profitable trade, okay? As we can see, I'll just show you briefly here, but after getting that entry right up at the high, making our way down, making our way down, making our way down, and take profit one percentage was right at the low of the move, okay? Down there around $24,000. And as I've said before, that $24,000 take profit was actually the very low of the wick down here before then a move to the upside, right? So we managed to short the high up here and then take profit at the absolute low. And that's, uh, you know, updates given in the time, explaining the thought processes here in detail of why I take these trades, what I'm looking for. And, you know, that's why we take take profit one, right? Because that was take profit at the low before we started to get that bounce underway to where we are right now. Okay, so that was just a quick reminder and introduction of why I took those shorts in the time what I was looking for, 
how they played out and how they've both hit take profits. Uh, but for me now, the focus is going to be on the future, right? And answering the question that I promised you of, you know, are we getting ready for this move to $26,000? And for me, um, this is something that I want to just thoroughly explain to you as a professional trader that consistently does make money from this market, you know, been doing this now almost like 13 years. So I've got a lot of experience under my belt. Of course, you know, at the beginning of my trading career, I was not a profitable or consistent trader. But over time and experience, I've gained knowledge and insights into this market, which have, you know, helped me become the trader I am today. And there's something that when I was a beginner trader looking back on, and, you know, of course, now I'm, I'm mentoring thousands of champions, right? Uh, so I also see from their point of view often with the questions that I'm given. And I think a lot of people struggle to understand the concept of trading, which is a key concept that you thoroughly have to have a full understanding of. And that is, as a professional trader, we do not know with 100% certainty what is going to happen next. There's no way to know what is definitely going to be happening next. Of course, we have very good probabilities. For example, a swing failure pattern of the high. Well, there's a good probability that this gets a drop and a drop of 8% we got. This one, this trade was, was I want to say, not so high probability. I, re I really, like I said here, I think 99% of the world would not have traded this short position on the second attempt. But for me, it was still a good probability trade and, and that got a 4% drop to the downside, right? So we, you know, acknowledging there, we have good probabilities, but there's never 100% probability. For example, I could have posted this to the thousands of champions watching and got stopped out of the trade and, and lost the trade, right? That was a possibility. We could have lost the trade. In the end, it, it turned into a profitable trade, but could have lost. Why? Because trading is a game of probabilities. I'd like to explain here the difference between, you know, trading and gambling. With trading, we have high probabilities in our favor. A gambler just comes onto the chart enters a long, enters a short. They have no real reason or understanding why they're entering the trade. They haven't thought through their plan. They haven't worked out good, well enough their take profits, their invalidations, their stop losses. And they're just gambling. They're just coming into the market, throwing money at it. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose, but they have no real understanding of why. Okay, and as we transform into the trading professional side, we have full understandings of why we enter, where we're getting out, where our invalidations are. Okay, and we've got a much more thought through plan. And hopefully you're recording everything in a journal and you're recording your statistics and, and thus you have a very good thought through idea. OK, but every time we enter a trade, we understand that there's a risk involved and that risk is simply losing the trade. And that's why we have very good risk management to avoid any catastrophic loss. So, um, you know, if we lose a trade, which I do and you watching this will lose trades, it's part of the game. And it's just one of those things. You take a trade, you can win or you can lose. You're aiming for that good win rate, good risk management. So if you take a loss, it really doesn't matter. It's part of the game. Take the loss, move on to the next trade. When you're looking at high win rate trades, then, you know, taking the losses is, is fine because you're looking at the long term game, right? Uh, but yeah, for, for me to <clears throat> explain, I'm still in those two short positions from the high. Um, and for me here, it's a simple case of trading the charts. I know some people might roll their eyes when I say this, but it's a simple case of now remaining patient and let the market show its hand. So I always like to say at Chart Champions, we are the casino. We are in control of the charts and we are in control of our fate. OK, we are not the gambler, but we are the guys with the good win rates. We are also the whales of the market. Right. But that aside, we are in control of the charts in, in terms of our own fate. OK, you yourself are in control of your own fate. And sometimes that requires a little bit of patience. So what we, might, what we mean by patience is we need to now remain calm and collected and patient to let the market show more of its hand. And how do we let the market show more of its hand? It's by waiting for more data. By waiting for more data, we slowly see the market reveal more and more of its hand. OK, so we have to be prepared, of course, for an opportunity of a very big large rise to the upside. You know, if you tell me, Daniel, next week we're trading at $30,000, would I be surprised? My answer would be no. I wouldn't be surprised with that. But likewise, if we see a massive drop from here and we're trading at 
$20,000 next week? Would I be surprised? My answer would also be no. I have no surprise because I have no, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I wouldn't be surprised because I also have no, um, no wants of the market. I, I, there is a right word that I'm looking for here, but that my, my brain, it's a Sunday, <laughs> can't quite find the word. But yeah, I have, you know, if you, if you have no like wants or expectations, then you're not going to be surprised, right? Myself as a professional trader, understand the market can, can go up, it can go down. Okay, so I'm not surprised if it does either of those things. All I need to know is my current trades, my current invalidations, and the next trade I'm looking at. So if we move to $30,000, you know, I know as a trader, I'm able to secure profits on that move upwards. So I'm happy and content to see a move up. I also know that if we start to move down, well, I know how to take my trades, manage my trades and secure profits if we move down. So as a trader, I'm more than happy to see Bitcoin pump and I'm more than happy to see Bitcoin drop from here. Okay. And I think this is a thing that especially newer traders that just want signal calls, tell me what's going to happen. They want someone to just come in here and do a video and say, this is what's going to happen next. Do this. You know, why do you think the, you know, I hate to talk about other people. This is something that I don't really like to do, but just to give you context, like moon boys, you know, the typical like moon boys, you know, they'll come in and say, hey, Bitcoin's breaking out, go long, uh, do this, do that. Like, this is what's going to happen next. Emergency videos. Um, and people love that, you know, if you look at the view counts, this is what gets the most amount of views because people love to just be told what to do. You know, they love to think that someone just is going to come in here, tell them what to do, give them a signal call and it's going to work out. Well, I mean, you can run statistics on these type of things yourselves, but you know, these type of moon boys, are they making money off their trades or are you the product and they're making money off of you? That's something you've got to ask yourself. Nothing, nothing's free in life. And if you think, you know, people are just doing a YouTube video calling breakouts and consistently getting it wrong, but somehow a good trader, how are they really making money? That's something you can think about, right? But myself, you know, I'm never going to be like, this is exactly what's happening next because there's no way to exactly know what's going to happen next, right? It's a game of probabilities. I have my, you know, my probabilities. I have my traits, but there's no guarantees. So, you know, doing this, this is what's going to happen next. Do this. This is this, you know, this is the call that's going to make you a million dollars. You know, it's all well and good to say it, but it just doesn't work. The only way you can actually become successful in trading is by really understanding the trades, understanding the theory and educating yourself and thus taking your own setups. Of course, you know, occasionally I'll give a, you know, a call like this and it plays out very well, but this isn't the, the, the focus of chart champions, right? The focus is that you, you do it yourself. And then this is some bonuses on the sides. Um, but yeah, for, for me, you know, understanding I'm a little bit patient here. I want to see more more data in the market to show it's bit of a bit of its hand. And I think that's also fairly simple to look for next, right? It'll be a simple case of moving above 53,300. Okay, well, we could look for another swing fire pattern of the higher course, but moving above that high and holding it as support. And we look for the large move to the upside or essentially we just keep building lower highs here. Currently, we're forming a little bit of a triangle which is a symmetrical triangle. So these, we can look for either breakouts. So there's no need to be really, really, really bearish or really, really, really bullish. We can just look at this triangle that's forming and say to ourselves, well, let's see which way this triangle breaks. If it breaks to the upside or to the downside, of course it can fake out, which I'm aware of. But we need to see at the very least which way this triangle starts to break, right? So again, we cannot say which way that triangle is going to break now, but we can be prepared for it breaking to the upside and looking for the highs to be taken. Or we can be prepared for it to break to the downside and maybe get a bit of a extended move. Well, extended, it's not a massive move, but a large move to the downside, so to speak, locally, right? And so for me, I wouldn't trade inside of this triangle. I wouldn't trade at the exact level where it's at. I would remain patient for a little bit more data and start to see which way this breaks. Okay, it's a weekend, so I'm not going to be jumping into a trade in the middle of the range, which if you look locally, this is right in the middle of the range. It just doesn't offer a good opportunity for me. Today, there is a good opportunity on altcoins, as I've been saying recently. Altcoins are providing good trades. You know, you look at Polkadot, you look at Atom. Uh, GRT has been great to trade recently. Shiba has actually been good to trade again recently. Link has been a decent one to trade. So there's opportunities in altcoins right now. So while we remain a little bit patient on Bitcoin, uh, you know, there's opportunities in altcoins. And during the week, of course, we're very much uh, talking about the stock market a lot now, or the ES or the mini ES. Um, for me, this is 
also a very good arena to get involved in. Home your skills. Once you've learned technical analysis, you are free to trade every single market in the world. The, the skill that you learn is a lifetime skill of technical analysis, and it's exchangeable across all markets, right? So you learn it here on cryptocurrency, or well, next time you can you feel like it, you can start to trade the stock market. It's, it's a good skill to have under your belt, right? Because it's transferable. And um, yeah, of course, the most biggest reason people lose is would that be, be that psychological factor and the emotional factor. And, and you know, that's really what we understand and, and homing you in on uh, to, to, you know, get you better at and, you know, get, get you away from that emotional state in the market to the mindset of a professional trader and how, how we approach the market. OK, so I'll give you my final thoughts on this. I just want to do a really quick announcement. And that would be if you do want to educate yourself, then, of course, we have the whole educational modules on our website from beginner to master. where We have the advanced strategies, well, which we're releasing new strategies every week. Um, and then from there, you've got also the speed run versions of this, which is the condensed version. We'll continue to make these. Uh, we got the vault where we got all of our cheat sheets. And now we have the new journal. So we've got a new inbuilt journal on the website. Uh, which is going to be able, you know, available for everybody, uh, where you can journal your trades, exact entries, your reasonings. You can then we're building this, so it's a statistic builder as well in V2. So we're really expanding and putting a lot of time and effort into the journal because we recognise the importance of it, recognise the importance of statistic keeping, journaling, you know, taking notes, understanding why you're taking the trades, planning out the trades. So we've now got a whole fully fledged built journal into the website along with the educational content that we have, the daily update live streams. This is, by the way, Igor and myself. you got Monday, Igor, Tuesday, myself, Igor, Wednesday. So it's going like Igor, myself, Igor, myself, Igor, myself. So you've got daily live stream updates now. <laughs> you've got daily update sheets where you get all the levels every single day in the, sh in the daily update sheet, right? Daily live stream educational videos. you got the cheat sheets. you got the journal. A little glimpse if you want to see this next week, I'm releasing my new EXO uh, Atus uh, templates. So I've been putting a lot of time into building brand new templates as well. So I mean, this is the thing at Chart Champions, we never stop. We are just not going to stop. We're going to keep building. We've been the longest running group inside cryptocurrency, and we will be the longest running group in the next 10 years too, right? So for us, it's just keep on focused on what we do, what we love, ignore the noise, ignore the drama. It's always going to be people that are talking about, you know, we'll just keep showing you the results of what we do and, you know, just keep focusing on on helping you. And, and that's what we care about, right? And the last thing that I remind you of is, um, you know, I personally am very proud to see the hard work and great trades the new coaches at Chart Champions are putting in. We know the method to making money trading. Now we are sharing that information with you so you can follow in our footsteps. And it's, it's comments like this. Morning, Daniel. It's quite refreshing to find you. It's been a long time since I've felt that buzz for life. My life has been the opposite. Another day of learning starts now. Thanks, mate. And this is just to show you, you know, the results that Rivalry is putting in here. I mean, just look at that PNL and words here from Severin. Um, you know, this is this is makes me proud to see, you know, we've, we've got traders that are able to make money trading, show you the results along the way. And, you know, at the end of the day, just be there to support and and help you along the journey. So, yeah, shout out to the new coaches that we've got, Severin and Rivalry. Check out the, the website where you get the daily updates, the journal and all that good stuff. And if you want the updates like this during the day. And of course, that's for the champions in our trading channel on the read-only Discord. That's where you get all the information and insights of exactly what we're doing and, uh, you know, more live in the time updates, right? That, by the way, was simply how we are high how we are low. That's, that's pretty perfect, right? Um, but yeah, as I said, I'll, I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Actually, I, I will talk about this. There was a comment the other day saying, hey, Daniel, you're, I will ask you this. Please let me know in a comment down below. Do you uh, do you think I should stop doing like these clickbait title of thumbnails? I will be very honest with you. Of course, I just have fun. Do I just genuinely have fun doing these YouTube updates for me. This is this is this. Is, I enjoy it. So uh, also, while I'm enjoying myself, I do put on these title of thumbnails, which, of course, sometimes I've not even mentioned anything think in the thumbnail but I do see some people kind of annoyed with it uh, even though for me it's just literally a bit of fun the thumbnail and the title is totally not serious <laughs> but I do sometimes see, sometimes see the comments hey Daniel one, th one day it's a bullish thumbnail one day it's a bearish thumbnail like I just let me know in the comments down below do you think I should start with these thumbnails or do you, do you also find it funny I guess 
yeah, maybe I should stop. Uh, but the, the, also the thing is I literally just don't have a big selection of thumbnails. I don't create my thumbnails. I'm just like going through and selecting old ones. And it's so, yeah. But let me know down below of, of the thumbnails and, and, and titles, whether you think I should just <laughs> do, do a boring thumbnail, I suppose, rather than this excitement thumbnail. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, that was it. Because someone said, "Hey, Daniel, you're ch you're turning into a you're turning into an influencer." And I thought, well, no, I really I really disagree with that statement. I've never referred to myself as an influencer, and I never will. Uh, I am a trader that shares my charts. Um, <laughs> thumbnail and title aside, if you listen to the content and you listen to my words, then you will be uh, profitable, right? If you trade off of a thumbnail on a title, and that's kind of the lesson in itself. If you focus on the thumbnail and the title, well, then you fall, fall, fall into the realm of looking for a signal call easily. And that just isn't going to happen in trading. You have to put in the time and effort. So it's like, it's also a lesson. Listen to what I say and you can be profitable. Uh, but yeah, that, that aside... Yeah, I'm not an influencer. I'm a trader that just shares <laughs> shares us shares stuff. I'm not not an influencer. But um, anyway, I digress. And so for me, yeah, to answer that question, you know, can we see twenty six plus thousand dollars? Of course, we absolutely can. To see that, we need to break upside of this triangle, hold it as support. Or of course break down and backtest support and hold support. But as long as we maintain this uptrend, as long as we maintain support, of course, we can push higher for thirty thousand dollars. I'm prepared and ready for that if we hit thirty k, right? Um, just as I am also prepared if we fall down from here. So for me, it's a, it's a, a, important to be prepared for each scenario. Again, I know some people don't always understand that, but you've got to be prepared for a bullish scenario, bearish scenario, and then simply be ready for those trades. Be happy to see a move either side and be prepared, ready to execute. You know, that's the stage you need to be at. Be happy to see the market move because when the market moves, you get a trade entry and that's how you can make money, okay? So it's all down to technical analysis, bit of patience, marking out your levels. Once it's hit, check the reaction and execute. That's how you go from an analysis to a trader. It's all about the execution and taking those trades. Um, so yeah, that's the level we want to get you at. Move away from an analysis and start to be a profitable and consistent trader, making money trading. Um, so yeah, I will say this. If you want to see more, well, I actually have a live stream tonight on the website. So I've got a champions live stream tonight. This is uh, uh, 7.30 UK time. Of course, if you miss that, then you can always watch it back on the video library. You can get all of the updates if you miss it, much like Netflix. It's like Netflix almost. But if you want to watch it live in the time, it's 7.30 tonight. If you miss it, you can watch it back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, of course, it's like this video here. But of course, you have to understand, I'm going to go into a lot more depth, a lot more precise information, you know, showing more of my hands. Uh, you know, of course, on these public videos, I'm, you know, I'm always going to be playing you know, did this kind of card. But for me, you know, if you want to see more exact opinions, if you want to see more exact trade setups like this, and of course, this is what I'll be giving inside of the group and inside of the Champions live streams. So if you want to see that tonight, I'll go over more of a higher term time frame update. Okay, a higher term time frame bias on the bigger picture, macro picture, and giving more insights of what I'm looking at. So if you'd like to see that, you know where to catch it, chartchampions.com. You can get that live stream tonight and, of course, all the other educational content that we've mentioned available on demand. Um, so, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Remember to comment down below. I do read every single comment. You can make my day. Show me some love and uh, I'll continue to show you love by making these videos and giving back. So thank you ever so much. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I love you all, CC Paul. Let's have a good time. Let's enjoy and let's continue to crush the charts. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye.